Hi, and welcome to Voice with Julia in day 33 of our Marchese Vocal Challenge. Today, we're looking at exercise 46, which is super tricky. So let's get ready and let's crack this one step at a time. Voice with Julia, change your voice, change your life. On these next couple exercises, I want us to take it very slow again and make sure that we're really understanding the relationship of the jump at a quicker tempo. So right at the onset, we have this oh, octave jump, right? And then as we're coming back down, we fall down to the seventh. Oh, but then as we go further into the exercise and we're coming back down the scale, we're gonna have a jump of a ninth. So we come here. So these intervals are gonna get tricky. So what I want us to do is actually observe the breath that Marchese writes. And she writes that we're gonna do one measure connected to the beginning of the next note on the, on the second measure, breathe, and then begin on that measure again, ending on the first note of the next measure. So for this exercise today, let's take this nice and slow at that pace. So we're gonna basically breathe after every iteration of this pattern. Here we go. Oh. getting up out of this lower passaggio area, that intervallic relationship is gonna feel more the same coming from the top note down than it did when we were lower. So let's try that one again. You hear that? So you can really feel that relationship. One more going up. that's that ninth jump tricky okay oh. 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 so you want to make sure you're aiming correctly on those intervals let's try now this one oh. really suggest you take it nice and slow and only when you feel confident about the tuning because again we're working on the diatonic scale so each interval is different depending on where what um, iteration of the scale we're in so it's not like the diatonic scale transferred all of these times we're not modulating so make sure you really are solidified with that tonality and with these intervals and then you can take it up a little bit quicker something like oh that nice and flow and then as you get really really advanced and understand that intervallic relationship you can move faster and faster but because I am doing these like basically every other day recording these for you guys I'm taking them nice and slow to make sure that they're accurate but as you work on them if you really want to go deeper I would really take these exercises and like do one for a whole week. I wouldn't just do one a day, but you know, for the sake of the series, that's what we're doing. So really take your time with these exercises. If there's one that feels harder for you, there's no shame in stopping and really doing that one until you feel like you've mastered it. 